that God gave to us, the angrier God will be with us and the more destruction we are likely to face. And there is only one solution to this problem. Freedom. Because when freedom comes to Biafra, freedom will come to every black person on the face of this very earth. That is that thing that people see. And they say that they are this, they are that. It's a blessing from God, Almighty in heaven. Let us listen to Fulani Janjaweed. Why do you hate an evil man? If you place him in a labor, did you place any woman in labor camp? The time that we are referring to, it was the British who were in charge. It was the same white people that were picking Igbo people and making them foreman and headman because the grace of Elohim is upon them. When you see them, the light of God is shining. That is why they give their children names like Ike Chibu, Chibu Eze, Nabisi. All of these names venerating Chinya. Gift from God. Unyeji. Now you understand it, don't you? Uche chupu gemerere. When we answer all these names, we wear it on our forehead, but we don't know what it means. We answer Tamuno. We answer Obase. We answer Abase. It's on our forehead. We answer Onisa. We, we are so much loved by Elohim that even the name of God we answer. Why shouldn't God's grace be upon us? Do you see why Biafra cannot be destroyed by any mortal? It's, it's indestructible. No matter how angry God is with us, he remembers his promise. He remembers the purpose for which Biafra was created. And that promise must come to pass. Because the word of God said, instead of my spoken word not to happen, heaven and earth will come to pass. Upon that very authority do we stand to proclaim that Biafra must come. There is nothing that God cannot do. But to the ordinary person living in the flesh, to a mere mortal, with a temporal mindset, you cannot understand it. It's only those of us in the street that can see it. You have to be, to be able to discern what is happening. To be able to understand what Biafra means. Some people are running about shouting, Biafra, Biafra, they don't mean God. They have no idea what Biafra means. You people is an example of the fulfillment of God's promise upon the lives of men. In other words, Biafra is beyond politics. Biafra is beyond what man can understand. Now you know why we answer Omo Chineke, the children of God in heaven, unashamedly. Why do you hate evil people? He said they are domineering. How did they dominate you? Because anywhere they go to, the grace of God is upon them. Even the white man will call them and ask them to head a factory. And then their brothers will come and they will receive more blessing and they become millionaires and they become billionaires in a land far removed from their own because the grace of God is with them. God goes before them. That's the name they give to their children. Chibuzo. Before we come to your land, God has already prepared it for us. Not to conquer you or to dominate you, but to prosper that you also may prosper. Only if Africans can say this. Only if. Only if Africa can understand what Elohim intended to do with Biafra. Maybe one day they will. Let's listen to this ginger weed. If they go to a village... Yes, to a town, they want to monopolize everything in that area. How? What do you call monopoly? Is it not the same monopoly that Dangote is having today? Do you know that in the USA, of course, we're going to take him to court in the USA. It's called antitrust laws in the USA. If you run any monopoly anywhere in the world, you will go to prison in the US for 25 years. No monopoly is allowed in the US. If you go, I think there was a report that came out a few days ago. Making it very clear. That Dangote is running a monopoly. The same people accusing us of, of monopolizing everything. They are the ones that monopolize pasta. They monopolize them. Uh...